Hey guys, my name is Nims, and today I'm going to show you how to build a highly compact T flip flop gate. So you can see in my past build here, I built a perfectly hidden 2x2 two two, uh, wall door. Uh, you can click the annotation at the lower left hand corner of the video to see that, but I'm just going to go ahead and add on to that today. So I've got a space already set aside where we're going to build this at. Uh, the easiest way to get started is go ahead and place two pistons not sticky pistons facing each other with a two block gap then go ahead and replace one of the block or get rid of one of the blocks and replace it with a redstone torch add a block above the redstone torch a block above that and a block just to the side of that so you can see right here it would essentially cover the gap uh, above the space in between the pistons then you're gonna add redstone to the top of it and then add a torch onto the side of each one of the pistons uh, onto the side of the blocks over top of each one of the pistons. We're pretty much done here. This is our completed gate. Uh, so you can see right now, this would be our output. It has power, add a button, the gate flips, and now our output has no power. So let's go ahead and get this baby wired up. Uh, I'm just going to add this to what I already have done. So right here is the output. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this down. Bring it underneath my blocks. Oop, gotta go down another block here. And where's my wiring at? Fantastic. Add a repeater there and a repeater there just for good measure. Make sure that the current makes it everywhere that we need it to. Makes it everywhere that we need it to go. Goodness, I cannot talk today. All right, so let's go ahead and test this baby out. It should work. Awesome. So we're pretty much done here. Now you just need to wire up your input to wherever you need it. So for the inside of my base, I'm just going to go ahead and wire it up right here to this block. So just take the wiring from the top, string it wherever you need it to go. Here's the wiring for the inside of my base. You can see that it opens and closes the door properly. And then now let's add the wiring to the front. So rather than having to deal, because sometimes it can be a little pain in the butt to get this to extend all the way around, I'm just going to add it off the back right here. Bring it straight out. We'll just pretend that there's a wall here. Awesome. Did it not get power? No, it didn't. That was my bad there. Ignore that. That never happened. Okay. And now you can see how the door closes. And the door opens. Sweet. Now this is my, uh, my tutorial build. Let's go ahead and see it in action. So you can see I've got this built here. If you're a fan of Nims Gaming, you've seen this before. But then the button right here, completely hidden. I hid it as well as I could. And then push the button. Door opens, closes. Push the button again. You can hear that T flip flop toggle. Then my door opens. Then I've got this baby wired to this button right here. And first you heard the T flip flop switch. And then you heard my piston door closes. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, or don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all those things you do. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.